Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. In this video, I am going to locally install this Lumina 2 model, which is a 2 billion parameter flow based diffusion transformer that is capable of generating images from text description in quite a good quality given its size in GBs, which is very, very low. And I will also show you when we get it installed locally. Before I install it, I want to spend a couple of minutes on this flow based diffusion architecture, which is becoming more and more common. Flow based models are also known as normalizing flows. These are type of models that learn to transform a simple probability distribution into a complex multimodal distribution. This is achieved through a series of invertible transformations, which allows the model to efficiently sample from the target distribution. If you compare them to the diffusion models, diffusion models are <clears throat> models that iteratively refine a random noise signal until it converges to a specific data distribution, for example, images in our case. And this diffusion process is inspired by the concept of diffusion in physics where particles move from areas of high concentration to areas of low concentration. And when you combine these flow based models with diffusion models, you get flow based diffusion models. Now this third um, blended type of model use a flow based architecture to learn the transformation required to iteratively refine the noise signal, which is similar to diffusion model. And that is what this Lumina 2 image model is. So I hope that you understand it a bit more now. Before I show you the installation, let me give huge thanks to Mast Compute for sponsoring this VM and this GPU, which is NVIDIA RTX 6000 with 48 GPU of VRAM. If you're also looking to rent a GPU on very, very affordable prices, you can find the link to the website in video's description with a discount coupon of 50%. And you can see that I have already started creating my virtual environment then I'm going to install some of the prerequisites. And I'm going to install all the prerequisites now, which is Torch, Torch Vision and a lot of other stuff. So let's wait. And that is done. Let me now launch my Jupyter Notebook. Now the first step is to download the model. And for that, I'm just simply using this pipe. And the model is being downloaded. You can see that there are Three shards of it. It's not a big, huge model, maybe just around, I would say 10 gig or so. And while it downloads the model, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are Camel. Camel is an open source community focused on building multi agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws of agents with applications and data generation, task automation, and world simulation. And I will also drop the link to their website in video's description. And the model is downloaded. Let's try to do the inference, which means that we will generate the image from text prompt. So this is my text prompt. And then I'm piping it through the model and model is generating the output and we are displaying it with matplotlib. And the prompt is that a serene photograph capturing the golden reflection of the sun on a vast expanse of water. And then there is some more detail. Let me run it. And the model is generating the image. So let's wait. And as you can see, we have specified 50 steps for inference. And that is why it is going through these 50 steps, which is almost done. And there you go. It has shown us the image. How clear that looks. How good is that? I mean, these uh, sun is really shimmering in the water. It looks really, really cool. And then if you see that the light is scattered on the surface of the water. Really good. Okay, so let's try out another one and then we will also check out the VRAM consumption. So in this one, I'm ask asking it a cozy cabin nestled in a snow covered forest with a warm fire burning in the fireplace. Let me quickly show you the VRAM consumption. And it is consuming just over 15 gig of VRAM, so not bad at all given the quality of this image model really and there you go look at this looks really good 
yeah so let's try out another one and for this one i'm just going to ask you to draw me a mouth watering realistic illustration of a juicy grilled cheeseburger with all the fixings and there we have our cheeseburger and remember this is the illustration and it is a realistic one so really it captures the style of the burger okay very very fine so if i just remove this illustration from here realistic image or maybe i just say re a mouth watering realistic juicy grilled cheeseburger let's try it out and there you go there is our burger looks really cool to me very sumptuous okay let's try out another one now in this one let me put it in one screen now if you look at this i am asking you to draw me a captivating image where the sky and sea merge seamlessly reflecting galaxies and nebula in an endless expanse the horizon blurs into a mirage of vibrant cosmic swells and then some other dreamlike harmony vivid waves of color yes pretty good i would say could be improved but this is don't flux one dev so i will take it given the size of the model that it has captured the essence of my text prompt and that is what we wanted to do it and now in the next one i am asking it to draw me a vibrant and dynamic scene capturing the heart of a brazilian carnival parade where spirited samba dancers light up the streets with their energy and flair let's see how it goes and there you go it has come up with something and if i go down so it has i would say done okay i mean it's a carnival there are samba dancers and then the attire looks good maybe bit uh, more detail would be good image could be more crispier and clearer but for the size of model it is okay but it's not at that standard which it showed in the previous images okay let's see if it can print out the text let me give it a prompt and now in the next one i am asking it to primarily uh, a woman who is holding a sign which says this text subscribe to fast channel let's see how it goes with it should be done any minute now there you go so there you go it says so looks i mean you see the spell is not good for subscribe it has even so this is a funny thing it has given the spelling of my name it has added an a between h and d which is another people also spell it like that so maybe it is coming from its training set i'm not sure but other than that i don't think so it has done the spelling right it has tried but again this is not a flux model but i would say that instruction following is is quite good in this model maybe it could be further fine tuned for alignment other than that looks quite good and this is the thing with this lumina 2 model that if you go through their repo and their model card they also have encouraged that if you want to fine tune it on your own images you can use dream booth and diffusers and lot of other libraries in order to easily fine tune it and i already have covered those videos on dream booth and stuff which you can check out the channel anyway let me know what do you think about this lumina 2 if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you